Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second stream of today. Uh, today we're gonna see Stepsisters versus Voltage. It's a really interesting match and uh, we're gonna have to see how this will turn out. Today I'm joined by Avoid and our broadcaster dedicated. Uh, so hello Avoid, how are you doing? Uh, hello, good evening again. <laughs> we were literally here last stream, I'm alright. So, do you want to go ahead and introduce one of the teams, Casper? Uh, yeah, sure. I will introduce um, Voltage. Um, Voltage has the players Oki something, No Brain, No Game, Veritas, Parola Mill, and Cortex. And would you like to introduce Stepsisters? Yeah, well, I'll go ahead and introduce Stepsisters right now. On Stepsisters' the team, we have Miras, Totoston, Totostan, Aeroblade, Lek, and Cortisol. Yeah, that's right. And both teams uh, just started. The OD box is dropping and Alec uses his Viking OD. Takes the next one as well. So good OD by him. He still manages to survive. He doesn't take out a lot of players. Only two of them, but still a good OD uh, regardless of that. Yeah. I mean, Cortisol here snatching away the flag. Not much players will be able to shoot him from now. He's really protected from the side of the wall. Um, Till Tostan is there to support him if anything goes wrong, but Cortex has swooping in, misses the flag unfortunately, because and that really costs the team. But maybe they might have been able to return. So that was a capture for uh, Stepsisters. Yeah, that's right. They got a capture pretty early on in the game. That Viking OD that Lag took at the start was really nice because because of that they managed to capture and. Yeah, they're up now, but it's sandbox where we usually see a lot of capture, so it's definitely not over yet. I think uh, Voltage is also a pretty good team, so they they might be capable of uh, making a comeback. I mean, they're only one flag down, but yeah, they they got to do something now. Well, fingers crossed that they're capable to do a comeback like you were mentioning. Um, so yeah, I mean, very good map control for... Voltage um, controlling on the left side, but no one's really on the right side to really support there. Cortisol's really controlling there, but I think he might get taken out here. Uh, no, he's still alive, but the OD box is dropping middle right now. Yeah, it's probably Lek who's going to take it. He lagged on top of uh, the Viking from Voltage. I forgot his name, to be honest. But yeah, so Lek took the OD again, so. Yeah, he's really strong with the OD so far. He, he has taken every single OD, all three of them. So, yeah, he's definitely doing a good job so far. Uh, Parallel Mill with a uh, Hunter OD stunned two players, or they used Reaper, so they didn't get the stun effect. But that was definitely uh, pretty useful. But none of the players from Voltage can make use of that OD from him. So that's pretty unfortunate for them. But they do get some map control. They kind of control both sides, but no brain, no game is on low HP. But he just got his arrows with the, he isn't able to use it now, of course. Yeah. I mean, maybe off spawn you might be able to cap capitalize on it. I don't know. I don't think he'll probably waste it, to be honest. But Lek there, dealing a lot of damage to no brain, no game. Um, his brain might not be working right now because he gets taken out by Lek. Okajek's battling against him right now, giving shots of his Rico. Um, but Lek will get taken out here as well yeah so far not a, a lot is happening i mean i think so far stepsisters has been the the stronger team but at the same time voltage is doing a good job defending uh their flag because yeah um they're not really uh getting close to their flag so far stepsisters after they captured the first flag but same goes for voltage they're, they're just controlling the map but apart from that, not much is happening. What is happening is uh, Oki something, the Paladin from Voltage, uh, that took the OD box after he used this uh, OD that he already had. Cortisol tried to stop him, but he missed his Crusade OD, so that means he's still alive. But at the same time, Tilt is not pulling him. got taken out by No Brain, No Game. We used this uh, Arrows OD for defense. So still no captures uh, besides the first one. So... Maybe that will uh, change soon, because Lex still got his Viking OD ready. Veritas as well from Voltage. Yeah, I mean, pretty much like you're mentioning, not 
there's not there hasn't really been another capture from the first capture. So right now voltage is behind one flag and there's five minutes forty five seconds left on the timer. So fingers crossed that voltage can really vote themselves up, like increase it. <laughs> A bit of waffle there from me, but hopefully they can really step the game up there and really shine here, hopefully. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, another Paladin OD uh, by uh, the team of Voltage, but I wonder if they can do something here because uh, Stepsisters do have three players in defense. Yeah, he does get taken out now, so kind of a wasted OD, but he didn't get any help from his teammates. But at the same time, I don't think it was really the right time to use his Paladin OD. Yeah. Oh, um, the OD bots is dropping middle right now, so. Right now, they really need to capitalize on that. But Tilterston right there, snatching the flag away, I don't think he might get away in time because Veritas is there and Perlimo is also there giving shots. The OD bots is sitting down there like it's... But Lek comes in there, swoops in, uses his OD and takes OD once more again. So right now he has a second advantage. If he does die, he might be able to capitalize on it again and hopefully do something with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the same time, I wonder if we're going to see any more captures because the teams are using a lot of ODs, but they don't pull any flags. Maybe that will change here with uh, Marest, who's taking the blue flag now, but Oki is pulling uh, the flag as well. So we might see a standoff, but Parallel Mill is using his hunter. He gets the return. So Voltage will uh, make the score a draw now. Precisely, precisely. That was a good capture there for, for them. They really, really needed that because right now there's only four minutes, roughly four minutes left on the timer. So it's really, really going to show which team can really dominate the last few minutes left on the timer. Yeah, so far it's been pretty close. Both teams have been playing really well, but yeah. I was saying Stepsisters played really strong, but like for the last few minutes, I think it's mainly been uh, Voltage who's playing really good. But I think Stepsisters will take the lead back here with uh, Lek who's pulling the flag. Nice Viking OD by him that created some opportunity to take the flag and uh, pull it towards his base. And he's going to get his second capture now. Maybe they can pull another flag. Tiltostan and Arrowblade still on the base of um, Voltage, but they got some struggle getting the flag out of the base. A lot of dead tanks, so they might want to wait a bit now. I mean, they don't have much choice. Like, did take the OD box, so that will give them some chance for uh, another attack. Uh, precisely, precisely. Again, that I think that was his second time taking the OD box because um, he took the one previous one as well. So, fingers crossed they can capitalize on the OD that they have now. So, he's the only one on the Stepsisters team that have uh, OD right now. And maybe even uh, the whole match, actually, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, for both teams. Do you think Voltus can still make a comeback? Because yeah, they they have been playing good so far, but they don't have the ODs to really do something. Voltage? I'm not sure really because Stepsisters is really, really there controlling that. And beautiful OD OD there from Miras. Totastan snatches away the flag. No brain, no game absolutely activates his OD just in time with his Ares OD and takes out the flag. But Miras there really pulling the flag. Aeroblade will be able to swoop in, support there. And beautiful OD from Lek activates at the very right time. Yeah, Lek is playing perfectly well this round. Everything he's done so far has been like... I, I couldn't do it better. Like, every OD has been on point, and he, he also took a lot of ODs. I think he has used like three or four ODs this whole round. And he might even use more if he can take this next one. He got a lot of help from Tiltostan. And he can take this next OD as well, because he took out Veritas. So yeah, he gets another Viking OD to use soon. Precisely, precisely. Lek is really, really surprising us um, this game here. Outstanding performance from him. Let here going against o Oki, dealing damage, no brain, no gain, um, really controlling the right side of the base. Um, there, steps to the base, dealing a lot of damage there, but 
not much he can really do there. Just giving shots to the middle players on the hunter. Cortisol coming there, gets taken out. Really, really good control there from No Brain No Game um, currently. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's pretty sure that um, Step Sisters is going to take this round. But yeah, looking at both teams, it still can go both ways. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to turn out. But the first round will go to uh, uh, Step Sisters. And we're, also, mm -hmm. and we're also joined now by Hope. I think he's uh okay. We're not joined by Hope, so um. Nah, I'm here. Uh, uh, if you can take it over for me for a little bit, I would appreciate that. That's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. It seems like today we're also joined by a beautiful commentator here. One I'm sure you guys pretty much know who he is. He's Hope, also known as Jack. Um, so Jack, do you have anything to say? Well, Gwan, how's it going? <laughs> How are you? What's happening? Run down the game for me. Well, pretty much right now, this is the first round that was going on for Stepsisters versus Voltage. And I believe Stepsisters just won 3-1 on their very first round. So right now, Stepsisters is up one game. That's good. I've heard that Steph's sisters are quite good recently. They've got a solid team and whatnot. So it's uh, quite intriguing to actually be here and uh, see this round being played while Casper is unable to be here. So, yeah, it's actually uh, good timing for me. I've been meaning to uh, see how they play for a long time. So uh, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. But how was the first round then? Was it like a massive difference or was it just a short break in between? I mean, it was a really, really, really strong performance from both teams there. I mean, there was a very nice player there called Lek. Absolutely played um, beautiful on Vikings, Smokey. Controlling the map, controlling the OD boxes every single time. And his ODs was on point when he was activating it. So that really gave Stepsisters the advantage um, and managed for them to um, dominate the round. I feel like Lex is a pretty solid Viking, actually. I mean, um, he's always stayed within the same com uh, combination, so it's quite, I mean, naturally, you're going to get better at it, right, the more you play it. So it's uh, it's good to see. I mean, um, I'm glad that he's getting some praise for his hard work of uh, just dedication towards that combination. And I think this team overall uh, kind of give each other high boost and morale. Uh, whilst they're playing on I me, mean, I've played with them a couple of TKVs when there weren't enough players, and honestly, they all seem like lovely people. But I'm not too sure about the other team, um, although we are going to be seeing them self here. Obviously, Lek did take that first OD box, and OD box has dropped now. So, uh, intrigued to see what team will be able to uh, possibly uh, take the domination within this uh, second round here on Sandbox. Precisely, and it looks like Oki was managed there to take the OD box just in time. He's also there, swooping in, taking the flag right now. No brain, no game is also there to support him if anything goes wrong, but he doesn't give shots to Cortisol. Cortisol manages to take out the flag carrier, but Petro um, Lemel there, swooping in, snatching the flag away, but taken out by Cortisol again. Yeah, and Kildstan uh, actually pulls his flag here. It looks like he will be getting that first capture. Uh, no one's able to stop him there. And uh, yeah, already it looks like they are in the lead within only 30 seconds into the round of that first capture being made. Yeah. I mean, Stepsisters right now, they're really, really dominating these rounds here. It's only the second round here, so we can't really speak too soon. Voltage really need to up their voltage of their game and really outshine um, Stepsisters step because right now, it's not really looking too good for them. No brain, no game, just giving shots there. Doesn't really have a brain. Um... That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Cortis yeah, takes him out. Ah, say, oh, 
Yeah, go on, go on. <laughs> Cortisol takes him out just in time. Let there. Did you see him activate his OD? Yeah, that's a bit peak. I mean, he's going off against players where it's kind of pinned down uh, between two of them. But luckily for him, his Eris uh, fellow teammate managed to take that OD box. It's it's a bit of a loss for them. Um, although hopefully uh, they're able to bounce back from their mistakes. They are still in the lead here. So uh, nothing too major. Although if I can OD being wasted like that is kind of peak. But Kurosawa using a really good OD here. On the left side, he's all alone. Going up against three players. Still has damage to... Uh, all three of them taking one out actually and making both of the other ones no repair. Looks like okay, he's gonna activate his uh, Paladin Overdrive here, no brain, no game. Has no repair and is uh, just healing up here with the Paladin OD. They're not uh, taking their time here. It looks like no brain's got an Overdrive now and it looks kind of like a team pointer strategy where they kind of just like protect themselves until they're able to uh, actually pull that flag. Um, Oh, I liked it a little bit there, but, um, and yeah, that's a really good cap, uh, capture made from them, and uh, looking at a 1-1 one -one right now. You know, exactly what you're mentioning there, team pointer strategy, um, but they were kind of playing a bit safe there, waiting until the players were getting knocked out, until they were all not respawning, and they really, really played aggressive, and took the flag, and then ran away and captured the flag. But I haven't really seen team pointers do that before. Maybe I haven't watched enough games with them, so you probably train TKB a lot with them to know. Yeah, I feel like they're, they're a team where they're, they're very short, make sure that they're not going to be wasteful with their earth drives. But talking about wasteful, we see two errors ODs coming back to back here, and uh, Lek pulling the flag nice from uh, Cortex on that. Uh, right side and deals a lot of damage allowing his uh, teammates to return looks like this viking's gonna activate his uh viking od taking one player out his core onto the wall there a bit risky from him i feel like he just wanted to ensure that no one was able to trail him uh although they it wasn't it was that case and uh, they did get that return for um, for both teams getting the return actually mm -hmm. correct correct absolutely correct so, I mean, right now, per Perla Mill in the, in the middle of the map, just trying to give shots, gets taken out there by Aeroblade. Um, not much really is happening there. Okay, coming in there with his Paladin right now, giving shots to Lek. If he can take out Lek, he might be able to snatch the flag, get away in time. But Kota's still there trying to deal damage to him, but he gets taken out. Miras also going for a counter pull here from stepsisters and hopefully they can get away in time but he drops the flag i don't know if that was some sort of miscommunication there but no brain no game coming in there giving shots to morass there and hopefully morass can do something here but oh beautiful shot there from Cor cortisol taking out two yeah. individual players yeah, and Lex uh, waiting for this overdrive looks like he's just not going to go for it. He's going to leave it for Morass. And uh, hopefully they can get this return. Looks like Lek is in a sticky situation. Morass doesn't even bother using. Didn't want to waste that there. Um, good, uh, good choice made by him. Um, although there is four minutes here. Um, they did win that first round, so a tie on this round wouldn't be too upsetting, although still, it's not something they would want in the end of the day. So I'm intrigued to see what will happen within the remaining uh, under five minutes here, because both these teams are looking very level-headed, and uh, confidence, I feel like, is more coming from the red side. They're pushing in. OK's doing some tremendous pulls here. Um, and I feel like OK and No Brain No Game are actually uh, working as the perfect duo. Precisely, precisely. They're really, really going in at the same time and trying to do as much damage as possible to stepsisters. So, fingers crossed they can keep up the good work and good communication and teamwork there from um, Voltage. Ooh, but look at this nice OD coming in, and it looks like Morass did use it, but 
he's not able to get that return that he was dreaming for. And uh, yeah, this is not going to be what he envisioned at all. Um, looks like another downgrade from them going from that massive amount of RSOD uh, potential uh, to nothing. But it looks like he is able to uh, get that back with uh, the OD box, which did fall. He managed to pick it up. So it's not the end of the day for him. Um, although there is under three minutes remaining now. And uh, the time is ticking and it's getting a bit sticky for both these teams because I'm sure that the red side would want to win this round. Yeah. Precisely because Stepsis has won the last round, so hopefully they don't get a draw here and Voltage can really capitalise on this win here and don't end it in a draw. That would be nice. So, Aeroblade there gets taken out by Cortex. A very nice shot there from him. Totaston there on the, the left side of the map. But activates his Paladin OD. I'm not sure why he would activate it now. He's there alone, trying to give damage to no brain, no game. But Lick coming there, swooping in with his OD. And I think he took out one player there, Cortez, who was the flag carrier. And Aeroblade going for a counter ball here. Cortez there mid, trying to support him. Can Cortez snatch the flag away and get away in time? And no one's there to give any shots to him. So this looks like it will be a capture for Stepsisters once again. This is not looking too good for Voltage because right now they're really down one one round right now. Yeah, exactly. And uh yeah, this is such great teamwork coming in from uh this team here on the blue side. I mean, they're doing really good. They got OD uh control here. Looks like Meres will will be taking his third or fourth OD there, uh, within the middle area. And uh I don't know, I feel like the, the Red side just really isn't uh, playing the best of their game. They got a really good right side control. Although I say that, um, I I don't know. I feel like the blue side just have been waffling a little bit here and there. They've had some massive ways for ODs, but they've also brought some massive upsets. Look, they're in the lead right now, and uh, there's only one minute remaining. Not really enough time to be able to make it a tie, but. Cortex is like, you know what, no, I ain't going to make this uh, the ending game here and uh, demoralize us all. So uh, that's one capture in the bag, but they've still got time to make another one. It's just a matter of faith here. Precisely, precisely. And welcome back there, Casper. Um... Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I had to go for a minute, but I'm back now. So... Um... Yeah, how are the teams doing right now? I see it's a uh, three-two now for um, which team is it? Um, Step Sisters. Uh, yeah. So they're winning the second round as well. So they're getting really close um, to win this match now. It, it's a bit closer than the first one. It seems like it's only one flag difference. So. I mean, there was kind of a standoff that was happening earlier, and what ended up happening, I think one of the team captured, and then there was a counter pull. A lot of, a lot of kerfuffle was really going on there, and that situation that you missed out on. But I guess it's another round that goes to stepsisters. Yeah, that didn't stop him, uh, them from winning. So yeah, um, I wonder how. Uh... Voltage will do the next round because if they don't win that, uh, they will lose the match. They won't be out of the tournament because both teams have uh, two wins and two losses at the moment. So th after this, both teams still have to play for uh, a good placement in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> it's now or never for Voltage to up their gameplay. Like you're mentioning, it's now or never. It's now yeah. or never. Unfortunately for uh, Voltage, they have to play Sandbox again. Because yeah. uh, that's what they just Yeah. Th that's kind of the risk if you go for um, the same map in uh, all of the rounds. If you see that one of the teams, or if your opponent is better, then it's really hard to make a comeback if you have to keep on playing on the same map. Mm -hmm. 
sometimes it can even be demoralizing because you're seeing that oh my gosh these two teams this team my opponent team has won twice in the same map do we really have the possibility to turn the tides and really outshine them on the next two rounds so i mean fingers crossed voltage can maybe do something here um and really for this round and step up their gameplay or they're going to be um it's going to be the end for them for this match today yeah i mean if you're if you're the underdog it might be a good like choice to go for the same map twice but at the same time i think both of these these teams are really close so i think for voltage it would have been better if they went for a different map for the the last rounds but yeah they're gonna have to do it with sandbox and maybe they can do something now doesn't look like they're gonna change any of their players or combinations so yeah they have to uh be a bit lucky to make this comeback but it's definitely not over maybe they can uh, get this od box that's falling lek is always controlling that od box for some reason this guy is absolutely on point today that od control yeah, he had a really good spawn, but so had Cortex, but Lek was just a bit earlier. So yeah, um, he will have the the first OD of this round. And yeah, how he's been playing so far, he's probably going to use another good OD. I don't want to jinx it, but yeah. I mean, he, he, do, he also does get a lot of help from his team. That also helps, because if you're a Viking and you don't really get help from your team, it's really hard to find an opportunity to use a good OD. Uh, yeah, hold on. I think the the transition there, uh, Nicholas, should be changed. I don't know if if it's coming up on the stream, the match. Uh. Oh yeah, they're not able to see it. Hopefully we can fix that, but maybe in the meantime we can kind of say what's happening on the map. Right now the score is still uh, a draw. Both teams are pulling, so we might see a standoff. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks like it's going to be another standoff here. Cortex, Cortex there trying to do some damage to Maras. But it's definitely going to look like another standoff we're going to have again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, those standoffs in Sandbox can take a really long time. So, yeah, if one of the teams have some overdrives, maybe they're going to return. But, like, as, a, as I see now, maybe only um, Tap Sisters might have a chance of returning because they do have a Viking OD. But yeah, at the same time, both Crusaders have an OD. So once they get in danger, they can always activate their Crusader OD to take out uh, the attackers. Yeah. Really, really, really looking like a standoff here right now. Um, both teams are trying to give a lot of shots to each other player. Beautiful OD there from Mirata. Doesn't really do much there. It kind of just flies over multiple players, but doesn't do anything there. Yeah, still a standoff. And yeah, I've, it will probably take a while before something's going to happen. Yeah. Mm, yeah, Lek uses a nice OD, but at the same time he doesn't manage to return, so... Yeah, both flag holders uh, are still uh, 
in the base with the enemy flag, so... Yeah, right now Voltage scattered some OD, so maybe they can do something. Yeah, fingers crossed, but Cortisol was really getting out numbered here, but maybe he took out... One player got taken out there, so I, I don't think it'll be a return there for... Steps, um, for Voltage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I won't even be surprised if this standoff will take the whole match and finally the viewers can also see uh, the map now, so yeah, welcome back. There's not a lot uh, that has happened, you haven't missed a lot, apart from the teams pulling the flag and that it's currently a standoff. Yeah. Uh, apolog apologies guys for the inconvenience there, these situations does happen um sometimes but back to the game right now we can see mirage here um kind of going to the middle bit trying to probably if he can take the od bots ideally this might give advantage for um depth sifters yeah and he doesn't uh hesitate a second he's using his od right away and that might be the right choice the flag is on one hp but is he gonna get the return that that tank is blocking him it takes some time before before he can return he, he is getting the return but at the same time veritas from voltage used his viking od and he is pulling this flag again so he might see another standoff yeah well, I guess it seems like it's going to be another standoff. Aristas coming in at the right time and pulling the enemy's flag. So this is what can happen sometimes. And the standoff can really, really, really can take a pretty long time until teams organize themselves and manage to make a, a aggressive pull, aggressive push, in other words, to try and return their flag. Yeah, but I don't know if we're going to see another, like, Voltage uh, did a really good job just pulling that flag, because all of the players from uh, Stepsisters uh, went for the return. I think they had three or four players going there, and they were all in the base of Voltage. So at the same time, Veritas uh, spawned and went straight for the flag by using his uh, Viking OD, and that's how he managed to pull. So yeah, they are still... Uh, uh, I mean, the match is still a draw, but yeah, Falters do need to capture a flag, because if they don't win this round, they will be uh, losing this match. So I wonder if they're going to do something. It's Stepsisters again who's taking this OD. Yeah, really put in Voltage right now in a disadvantage again. I mean, Voltage right now, they really need to up their gameplay here, because this is the last round for them if they do get taken out and lose this game. Um, just for today, just ideally for today, just this match. Um, Aeroblade, it looks like his OD didn't really do much there. Some, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, no brain, no game used this. No, he didn't use his Reaper. I don't know what happened. Maybe he got taken out before he was able to actually use his OD. But yeah, that's not looking good for, um, for, um, Stepsis, but they're, they're still in uh in like the lead in rounds. It's two zero now in rounds. So yeah, if they can hold on to this flag for uh, just a bit longer, they will be able to win this match. It's not maybe maybe it's not the most exciting round, but at the same time, it it's really close. Those teams are really uh putting all their efforts into uh to returning. Like it, it is really hard to return in sandbox because the teams. Like the Crusader, who's usually holding the flag, they can just hide in the base, and it's really hard without ODs to do anything. And even with ODs, if if they just put their efforts into defense, it's you, you can't really do much, to be honest. It's true. It's true. But we can also see on on the team for Voltage, they really have so many ODs, but they're not really... Oh, okay, but no brain uses his OD there, leaves an opening for Oki to do something here. Oki trying to give shots here. Maybe if he activated his OD earlier and really, really um, pushed and dealt damage, he could have been able to return there because all players was on a respawn for Stepsisters. Mm. Yeah, I think because no brain or game went up the ramp, uh, his, 
his hole was facing uh, downwards, and that's why his OD went into the ground and he killed himself. But yeah, look at this voltage. They they really go for the return now. They really have to at least, because if they don't return this now, it's gonna be really bad. And Cortex might be able to do so, but he gets taken out and tilted stand with the Paladin OD. That's gonna heal him. And all the players from uh, Voltage are respawn now, so they're not gonna get this return. They might get another chance, but there's not a lot of time left. Yeah, it's not really looking good for Voltage right now. That was their really window opening for them to do something there. And right now, Tultastan, Tultastan and Morales, they're trying to play aggressive here and really giving shots to players, but they won't be able to do much here as they get taken out by Varistas and Quartets. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, well played by... Uh... By stepsisters. I mean, both teams actually, but they, they just held on to that flag for the whole round. Yeah. Especially at the end when Voltage uh, put under pressure, but th they didn't crack to the defense of uh, stepsisters. So, yeah, well played to both teams and congrats to uh, stepsisters. Precisely. Well played to them. And also, thank you. Thank you for dedicated for also broadcasting today. I know we had a little bit of some technical issues going on earlier, but you know we managed to turn around. Uh, uh, I guess Casper can um can do the outro. Okay, so uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, yeah, uh, thanks a Void for commentating with me and dedicated for streaming, and yeah, see you guys in the next stream.